Just send me back. Okay. After you do the, uh, the 52 stroke, and you did the bottle scratch, you explained how Sandy Grip cuts the carpet. Then you say, I know if you're like me, whenever I saw that, Jordan, I'm sitting there thinking, well, how come my vacuum cleaner didn't get that dirt up? Because isn't that discouraging, Brittany, to know you vacuumed that carpet as many times as you did, and it didn't get this up? Well, Jordan, it's not because you don't have a good vacuum cleaner. Your Kirby's a good vacuum, all right? The problem is your Kirby uses a bag. Let me show you what happens when you use a bag or a filter, okay? First off, so you go straight from there into the mini bag, all right? And you grab the hose, the wet pickup hose. And by the way, when you're looking at the book, this reminded me to do the 52 stroke, and I flip over here and it says back corner bags often clog and lose power reducing do some clean fishing. What is that my cue to do? Back corner bags often clog and lose power. You show them how bags clog up. You do yeah. the mini bag. Right. Okay. So this page is only in here to remind you to do the mini bag next. So you're going to do the 52 stroke, then the mini bag. Okay. But you're going to show them why their vacuum cleaner didn't get that dirt. Right. So you go into this and you say, guys, if it helps you guys remember this, this is what I've always trained people to do. You read back corner bags often clog and lose power, reducing clean fishing. Let me explain why. When you read, let me explain why, you're supposed to ask them a question. Does anybody know what the question is? If you're what? vacuum cleaner broke today. If your vacuum cleaner quit today and you went shopping for another vacuum, what would you want to have a lot of? Right. So you read back corner bags often clog and lose power, reducing clean fishing. Let me explain why. If your vacuum cleaner quit and you had to go uptown and buy another one, Brittany, say so you just quit running and you had to go buy another one, what would you want your new vacuum cleaner to have a lot of? A lot of what? A lot of suction, right? Okay. So that's what you get them to say is suction, right? So you say back corner bags often clog and lose power. Let me uh, lose the clean fish. Let me explain why. If your back cutter quit and you had to go uptown and buy another one, what would you want your back cutter to have a lot of? Suction. You want to have a lot of suction, okay? Well, let me show you the rainbow has plenty of suction. talks about is something called airflow. If you would listen to the noise, you would know, stick your fingers in there, okay? You hear that? Your fingers in there. What are you talking about your fingers, Jordan? What are you talking about your fingers, Jordan? Air. See, guys, that's suction. And that's air flowing into the rainbow. Suction, airflow, two separate things. Now, you've always heard like I have, the more suction you have, the more dirt you're going to pick up, right? Okay. So let me just ask you real quick here. If suction is what picks up, I'll put my cloth right in here. If such is what picks up when I turn the rainbow on, guys, where's that cloth going to go? Through the hose in the water. Should do what, Brittany? Should suck it up, right? Okay. You see, we have plenty of suction, don't we? But Jordan, what can it not get? It can't get air, right? Look what happens when you give it a little bit of airflow, guys. It goes. So you tell me, Brittany, which one just picked the cloth up? Was it suction or airflow? Was airflow, wasn't it? Suction or airflow? Airflow, right. So I get them to say airflow right now. So I ask them, I say, was it suction or airflow? 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 If I give them the answer as I'm asking the question, they're going to get it right. Was it suction or airflow? They're going to say airflow, right? Mm -hmm. So now, how many cloths is that I've got in the water, by the way? One. One. So the first thing I did, let me back up, was I said, if your back cutter quit and you had to go up town by another one, what would you want to have a lot of? They're going to say suction. Let them feel the rainbow has suction. But I want to talk to you about something that no other back corner company ever comes in and talks to you about. Something called airflow. Listen to the noise here. We steer, stick two fingers in there. Feel that. Feel that. What do you feel going by your finger? Air. So see, guys, that's suction. There's airflow. Now, if you've always heard like I have, the more suction you have, the more dirt you're going to pick up. So suction. Put a cloth in there. So suction is what picks up. When I turn the rainbow on, where's the cloth going to go? And I say, well, it's going to suck it up. We turn it on. Show it doesn't suck it up until it gives air. Then I ask them, which one just picked the cloth up, guys? So suction or airflow? Right. So that's one cloth in the water. How many do we need, Brittany, before we do a mini map? Right. So we take the second cloth and we just get them to hold it out in their hand. Hey, Joe Jan, flat out, Jordan. And I want you to pretend that's a piece of dirt. Now, if there's any dirt here in your house, guys, how come I don't see it? Where is it, Jordan? Down the bottom, right? But when you use your back cleaner, wouldn't you agree the back cleaner is up on the top? Okay. As you get across the piece of dirt, pretend this is a piece of dirt down the bottom of your carpet, and this is the back cleaner coming across the surface. As I get across the piece of dirt, Jordan, you can actually see three, 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 three things happen, okay? Three, three, three. Three, 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 three things happen, okay? You're going to see the corners flicker. You'll feel a breeze. And as you get right up over the piece of dirt, that dirt's going to go right without ear, right to that machine. So just tell me if you don't feel that, okay? You'll see those corners moving. Keep moving down the corners. You feel a breeze, Jordan. Watch what happens when you get across the piece of dirt, guys. One came underneath. If I 
I start vacuuming y'all's carpet, what has to get down underneath the little pieces of dirt in order to move them? Yeah. Moving air moves dirt. Guys, now that y'all understand more about a vacuum cleaner than you ever thought you ever would, okay? Because that's actually how a vacuum cleaner works, Jordan. Uh, you mean, uh, yeah, Jordan, most people just don't realize it, okay? But guys, <clears throat> let me show you, now that you understand how a vacuum cleaner works, let me build a miniature scale bottle of your vacuum, okay? So, take a time out here in a second. So how many cloths do we have in the water now? Two. Two. We got one here and one here. Got it? Two cloths. Now we got one for each one of the lungs, okay? Now that you guys understand how a vacuum cleaner works, I want to build a miniature scale model of your Kirby. Kirby, okay? And you know we said earlier, and you can flip back in the book if it's not confusing to you, to the back kill page. And we said earlier all vacuum cleaners have four basic parts, intake, motor, bag, or filter, and exhaust. So if we're going to build a mini Kirby, the first thing we need the intake. I want you, we're going to pretend this is our Kirby intake. Pretend that R is a K for Kirby. Okay, it kind of looks like the front of your Kirby, doesn't it? Okay, it's a little Kirby intake. Okay, second thing we need is a motor. We're going to use the rainbow motor to represent your Kirby motor. In fact, pretend that R is a K for Kirby. In fact, I'll be honest with you, Brittany. A vacuum cleaner motor is a vacuum cleaner motor is a vacuum cleaner motor. They're all the same. All they do is they have crop, a tightly compressed fans that move air at a high rate of speed. They're all pretty much the same. Okay, so let's just pretend this is your Kirby motor. Third thing we need is we need a bag or a filter, right? And we're going to put our bag right here on the end, and we'll make our bag about an inch deep or about a knuckle deep, all right? Now, by the way, why am I using this material right here, Brittany, for my bag? Because it's got what in it? It's got holes in it, okay? You know what they used to make vacuum cleaner bags out of years ago, Jordan, before they went to paper? Cloth. Mm -hmm. Just take them out and dump them and put them back in. Mm -hmm. Until they figured out they could sell those paper bags and make a fortune off of them. Do you know in the average life of a Kirby, they're going to make more off of you on the bags than they did on the vacuum cleaner when you bought it? That's a fact, okay? They also uh, did the same thing, went from cloth diapers to paper diapers, but I think diapers was a good idea. Yeah. Okay. So guys, right now, we have an intake, we have our motor, and we have our what? Bag. Our bag. What's the fourth thing we need, guys? An exhaust. We know what gets through the holes in the bag, blows back out the exhaust, right? So we'll put our exhaust right here on the end. No. Yeah. Okay, this is our exhaust right here. So we have an intake, a motor, a bag, and exhaust. Now, who does the vacuum, Jordan? You are, you are ready. Yes. Okay. Now, this is going to represent you. Now, I'm not trying to say you're all washed up, okay? But they're going to represent your lungs, okay? And your lungs are wet, and your lungs are inside our body. Okay? Brittany, everything we breathe goes down to our lungs, okay? Contrary to what some people think. Okay. And we're going to put our lungs right here on the front. And this is going to represent Brittany's lungs, or excuse me, uh, Jordan's lungs. Can you see Jordan breathing there? Breathing anymore. Hold on. She's breathing. Okay, that's you, Jordan. All right, this is your lungs. Right here. We'll put you right here. Okay. Now, didn't you say your Didn't you say your mom and dad have a rainbow? Okay. This is going to be their lungs since they have a rainbow in her home. She wore a rainbow on her breeze when they vacuum. So you use like four cloths. Uh. See, I've never seen it done with the exhaust cloth. It doesn't matter. We put some people don't do that. Just put exhaust here. And they say this is the exhaust. Mm -hmm. I say that's my filter. Okay. So they say it's a filter. It doesn't matter. Any of that will work. I don't think that's going to make a difference. Okay? The main thing is you got to make the points about the mini bag that you're trying to make. And that is, guys, right now we have a brand new bag in our curb. Okay? Now, I'm going to take a time out just for a second. As I, whenever I do this. We have a new dog with Whenever I do this, here's what I'm trying to prove. With a clean bag, Brittany. With a clean bag. We have three things. What do we have with a clean bag in any vacuum cleaner? Suction. We know we have suction. Airflow. airflow. We know we have airflow, which will abbreviate AF, and we know we have a cleaning ability. Okay? Now how do we show the suction? The Stick in our How do we show the airflow? Harmonica. How do we show the cleaning ability? Exactly. Okay. Then you want to show them that with a dirty bag. You have what? Suction. You have suction. No airflow. No airflow. And no cleaning ability. Then you explain to them that you vacuum 15 seconds. That equals 15 minutes with a full size bag. Because I only use my little bag here. I vacuum 15 seconds. 15 seconds of my little mini bag represents 15 minutes of using a larger size, full size bag. Okay? A university in New York found that after 15 minutes, 
all bag vacuums, all bag and filter vacuums, right? Mm -hmm. Lose what? 45 to 55%. Lose 45 to 50% of their what? Cleanability. Clean within the first 15 minutes you vacuum when clean back. This is what you're trying to prove it to me, back. Okay? So if you'll do this, when you get when you get your mini bag built, you say, guys, right now we have a brand new bag in our Kirby. We have our intake, our motor, our bag, and our exhaust, and this was Jordan, and this is Jordan's parents, okay? So right now, guys, with a clean bag in our Kirby, you just, who changes the bag on your Kirby? Okay, you just took it outside, you probably have to take it outside of that big bag, you just change the bag, you got a brand new bag in your Kirby, right? With a brand new bag, you have plenty of suction, you feel the suction, you feel the suction, So I want you to be cleaning the building. Let's see how it picks up. Right? So with a clean bag, we know we have suction. We know we have airflow, right, Brittany? Let's check our cleaning. Yep. We have the cleaning right? Guys? Wow. That may just get rainbow so powerful. Can't get it out. Okay. So guys, right now, we have a brand new bag in our Kirby. We've got a brand new bag. We know we have suction. We know we have airflow. We know we have what? Cleaning the building. Okay. Brittany, watch what happens though when you get dirt inside the bag. Okay, can I get you to count 15 for me? Mm -hmm. Can I hit that cushion if you don't mind? Great, just let you hop up a little bit. Thank you very much. Just count 15. Okay, we're back in the couch cushion. Don't back in the floor, back in the couch cushion. when you're back on our bags almost full, Jordan, maybe you got to run across the string twice to get it picked. Yeah. <clears throat> well, guys, look, everybody thinks the bag's full, and I've been doing Rainbow for a long time, and the bag's never gotten full in any home I've ever been in. If it's full here, Jordan, it'll be the first time ever, okay? It's not full. Okay, my bag is only this big. Your bag on your Kirby, my goodness, is this big. Consider the size difference. If I can stick my finger down that bag, is that bag anywhere near full, Brittany? I mean, there's plenty of room in that bag for more dirt in there, guys. But if you'll look at the holes in the bag, I want to do with my pen, but if you look at the holes in the bag, Jordan, what's wrong with the holes? See that, Brittany? They're clogged up, aren't they? Let me ask you a question, Brittany. How much air can flow through the bag? Not much, right? So how much airflow do you have? Right. Without airflow, you can't pick up what you Pick up dirt. Exactly. Okay. Now I vacuum how long? About 15 seconds. 15 seconds of my little mini bag represents 15 minutes using a full size bag. A university up in New York did research and found that they did research over 300 different brands of bag and filter vacuum cleaners or different kinds of vacuum. I didn't know there was 300 different kinds. Did you? It's amazing that there's that many. But you know what they found? Brittany, they found after 15 minutes, all bag and filter vacuum cleaners, all of them. Lose 45 to 50 percent of their fingers. George, here's what I'm saying. If you put a clean bag in this Kirby and you vacuum this room, Marie, 
you realize by the time you get to your hallway or your daughter's bedroom, you've already lost half your cleaning bill. And Brittany, it ain't because your bag will be curvy filled up that quick. It clogged up that quick. After 15 minutes, all bag and filler vacuum cleaners, all of them lose half of their cleaning efficiency, 45 to 50%. Jordan, most people tell me that they change their vacuum cleaner bags or empty their, or change their filters. In fact, most people never change their filters and their bagless vacuums. But honestly, how, how often would you say you change your bag or your curtain? Every couple of months. And I appreciate your honesty, but you know what you just told me? You vacuum your house good once every couple of months. Six times a year, Jordan, your home is vacuum good. See, because you got to understand, if you put a clean bag in your curb and you vacuum this room, by the time you get in your hallway or your daughter's bedroom, you've already lost half your cleaning ability. Then you're going to keep using that same stopped up bag how long? Two months. Don't get mad at me. Jordan, I'm going to get a ton of dirt out of this home. Brittany, I don't want you to be embarrassed and think, gosh, she probably thinks we're terrible housekeepers. You know, I can look around and tell y'all care. The problem is after 15 minutes, your machine stops working. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let me ask you, Jordan, if you had a lawnmower out here and you started cutting the grass and after 15 minutes it stopped working, and there wasn't anything you could do to fix it, what would you have to do? You'd have to get something to work, right? Exactly. Now, guys, I'll tell you this too. So many times I go in people's homes, Jordan, and sometimes it's the guy. He'll look at me and he'll say, Jay, I don't care what kind of vacuum cleaner you use. You can't get all the dirt out of your home. You know that's not true. Do you know I've been in people's homes with this rainbow where they have an old rainbow? Brittany, I'll vacuum the whole house. And that water barely even turns gray. You can get the dirt out of this carpet and you can keep it out. And I'm not even telling you you gotta buy a rainbow. If you would change your bag or filter on your Bissell or on your curb every 15 minutes, you would get the dirt out of your home. Okay? There's two problems with that. Number one, It'd be real expensive, wouldn't it? You'd end up paying for a rainbow every six months just in the dang bags you'd have to buy. The worst part about it is, Jordan, though, after you spend all that money, half of what you're picking up, guess what it's doing? It's blowing back out to the end, okay? See, Jordan, the rainbow cleans like it has a clean bag in it. When you're in this room, when you're in your hallway, when you're in your bedroom, today, tomorrow, the next day, 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 and you know what's eventually going to happen? Eventually? If you use a clean bag all the time, you know what eventually happen? You'll get the dirt out. Okay? But let me ask you a question. Are you ever going to get dirt out using a clean bag once in August? Once in October? Once in December? No, the dirt's being brought in quicker than that builds up the bottom of your carpet. Okay. Now, that's amazing, isn't it? Just off that one cushion. Okay. Let me do that one more time, guys. I'm going to make another mini bag, put another clean bag in it. We're going to take the back, we're going to take Kirby outside again, change it. Okay. And by the way, I take a time out. If they have a Bissell, instead of asking them how often they change the bag, you ask them, have they ever bought filters for their Bissell? And they'll say, no, I never replaced them. Well, how long you had the Bissell? I've had about a year. Just say, Bill, what you just told me, don't get mad at me. Y'all had not vacuumed your home good in a year. Literally. you got to remember, if you went to Walmart and spent $20, $30 and bought all new filters for that machine, you vacuumed this whole room right here. By the time you got your hallway, your daughter's bedroom, you've already lost half your cleaning ability. And it ain't because your machine fills up, but it's because the filters clog up. In 15 minutes, all bag and filter bag. Do you understand how much how powerful this part of the demo cleans? like it has a clean bag in it. When you're in this room, when you're in your hallway, when you're in your bedroom, today, tomorrow, the next day, 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 the next day. And you know what's eventually going to happen eventually? If you use a clean bag all the time, you know what eventually happen? You'll get the dirt out. Okay? But let me ask you a question. Are you ever going to get dirt out using a clean bag once in August? Once in October? Once in December? No, the dirt's being brought in quicker than that builds up the bottom of your carpet. Okay. Now, that's amazing, isn't it? Just off that one cushion, okay? Let me do that one more time, guys. I'm gonna make another mini bag, put another clean bag in it. We're gonna take the back, we're gonna take the Kirby outside again, change it, okay? And by the way, I take a time out. If they have a Bissell, instead of asking them how they change the bag, you ask them, have they ever bought filters for their Bissell? And they'll say, no, I never replaced them. Well, how long you had the Bissell? I've had about a year. Just say, Bill, what you just told me, don't get mad at me. Y'all had not vacuumed your home good in a year, literally. You gotta remember, if you went to Walmart and spent twenty, thirty dollars and bought all new filters for that machine, you back in this whole room right here. By the time you got your hallway, your daughter's bedroom, you've already lost half your cleaning ability. And it ain't because your machine fills up, but it's because the filters clog up. 
in 15 minutes, all bag and filled right. Do you understand how much how powerful this part of the demo is if you do it right? Mm -hmm. It's huge. Then you put another bag in here. Now let me tell you the only reason I do this a second time, okay, is because this is where I get my commitments. This is where I get them to commit to me. Their, their machine makes absolutely no sense at all. That's the only reason I can do it a second time. Okay, you ain't got to do it a second time, Brittany. If you're in a hurry and you're just in a rush, skip this, all right? But I do it a second time. Let me show you what I do. Guys, I'm going to do that one more time. Put another clean bag in. So we just took our, our Kirby back outside and put another clean bag in it. We a clean bag. Again, we have plenty of suction. We shouldn't do anything, but we got it. We still have plenty of airflow. And I'll check our cleaning ability. Plenty of cleaning ability, right? right? This time when I vacuum, you don't mind on vacuum the cushion. You're in there, Brittany. Listen to the motor when I vacuum this time, guys. Listen to your motor change. What happened to the bag? They ought to say, well, it's clogged up. What if they say it's full again? Then they didn't get it. Mm -mm. And by the way, if they didn't get it, whose fault is it? Yours. Well, okay. It doesn't matter whose fault it is, but who's going to who's going to end up losing money over the deal? Mm -hmm. So you gotta make sure they understand this stuff, okay? Take this off and show them exactly right. The bag's not full, it's just stopped up. Let me ask you, Britt, what would happen if I put a third bag in my Kirby? Notice what I just said? A third bag in my Kirby. See, this is their Kirby. This isn't a black pie, a rag on the end of my pipe on my rainbow. This is their Kirby. you got to understand, this is this. I'm showing them what happens when they use their vacuum cleaner. I said, what would happen if I put a third bag in my Kirby? Same thing, right? After 15 minutes, they all lose half their cleaner. So no one is to stop up. No one is to stop up. You ready? This is the commitment I was talking about. No one is to stop up, Brittany. If I put it back together, Jordan, and I'm backing a thousand times across that couch cushion right there, what would I be doing? Be wasting my time? Brittany, what if I vacuumed out here, what would I be doing? Be wasting my time? What if I vacuumed up here on the curtains, what would I be doing, Jordan? Guys, if y'all continue to use a bag vacuum, what are you doing? See, you ever heard the old saying, the old joke, say silk three times, silk, silk, silk? What do cows drink? Right. Actually, cows drink water. But what you want to say <laughs> is you want to say milk, right? It's just a thing you got them saying. Wasting my time, wasting my time, wasting my time. When you use your bag, bag back corner, guys, and what are you really doing? See, I ask them, I say, no one is stopped up. No one is stopped up. If I vacuumed a thousand times across that couch cushion, what would I be doing? What if I vacuumed that here, what would I be doing? What if I go back in your curtains, what would I be doing? Guys, if you continue to use a bag or foot or vacuum cleaner, what are you doing, Brittany? Exactly. So who said that? They did, not me. Remember, you got to get them to understand this and, and commit to you on this instead of always just trying to go in there and See, that's the worst part about this for people is they think they got to go in and sell a rainbow. You got to go in there and show a rainbow. They'll sell themselves, but you got to get the customer to participate and understand. I've always said the best rainbow dealer would be a drama teacher because we're teaching, mm -hmm. and you got to be dramatic about it. In other words, you got to got to put a little bit of oomph in your demo, you know. But there's your exactly right. This is what came out of that second cushion there. Now, what was this? This is exhaust. If you're using a bag or filter back cleaner, guess what blew back out in the air? You know what you got to do now, guys? You got dust. Because that blew back out the exhaust. Okay, that's crazy, isn't it? Who was this? This is Jordan. Okay, now when you take this off, spin the rainbow around, take the pipe, the end of the hose, lay it behind the box. That way they might think it's hooked up. Okay, they didn't notice you laid it back there. All right? Jordan, who stands on top of the vacuum cleaner? Your Kirby the whole time it's running. You hold your breath, you breathe. You breathe. Notice your breath. That's amazing, isn't it? And you know that's not good on your allergies. Okay? You, you love her, don't you? Okay. Don't say that. Okay. All right. But lay it right there. So now look, my boss man told me 
not to take anything out of y'all's house I didn't bring in with you or with me. So I need to give you dirt back, okay? I'm going to take this dirt, and if it's okay, I'm going to put it right back here. And don't get mad at me. I promise you I'll get it up, all right? So we have two cloths. Now, we got this off the what? Couch cushion. And we're putting it back on the floor. floor. You get it off the couch cushion and put it on the floor. And you put two piles. I make two piles, all right? I said, don't get mad at me. I'm going to get that back up, all right? Before I do, though, guys, I want to put another bag on here. I'm going to show you one more little thing. So I'm going to make another mini Kirby. Put my bag about an inch deep or about a knuckle deep. And would you do me a favor, uh, Jordan, and tell me when this carpet uh, looks clean? Great. I'm only going back in about one pile. <laughs> They'll say in the bag. Show them nothing went in the bag. The reason it didn't pick anything up, Jordan, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't have the other end of the hose hooked to the machine. Okay, it just looked like I did, all right? Actually, I did the I just rubbed it. In fact, you look right here, see this one? Same thing, okay? Jordan, let me ask you a question. Let me tell you what happens. When you use a bag or filler bag, after 15 minutes, the bag becomes stopped up. And all the machine does is beat the dirt down the bottom of the carpet. Have you been around someone's ripped up old carpet? What's under it? Okay. Let me ask you. Jordan, when you get done back, does it look clean? When the carpet looks clean? Jordan, let me ask you. Does that mean it is? Just because it looks clean doesn't mean it is clean, right? Okay. Now, I'm not going to leave that dirt in there. I'm going to get it up. Okay. This time when I vacuum, guys, I'm going to use the rainbow the way the rainbow is meant to be used. No what? No, no bags and no filters, okay? The rainbow's going to spring with 100% airflow, okay? The neat thing about a rainbow is this, guys. You see the water starting to turn? The neat thing about a rainbow is this. No matter how much dirt you pick up, it doesn't make any difference. What you start with is what you finish with. Even with dirty water, we still have plenty of suction, okay? We still have plenty of airflow. We still have plenty of same plenty of ability. time a rainbow ever loses air flows when you do what? Turn it off. Because see there's no holes, there's no filters, there's nothing to clog up. What goes in the rainbow stays in the rainbow. And who was this? Okay. Jordan, this is what the vacuum cleaner industry calls clean air. This is what rainbow calls clean air. Which would you rather me family group? Mm -hmm. You know what you just told me? You don't ever want to turn your Kirby on in this house. Okay. Now, you know what you're supposed to do now? Here's what you're supposed to do now. Grab their filter on their vacuum cleaner. Don't most people have bagless vacuums? Mm -hmm. All you want to do right now is you're going to grab their filter. By the way, Make sure everything that you use out of your kit goes back in your kit so that you don't have a mess everywhere. You don't want parts and stuff laying everywhere. You just want black cloths laid out. Here's all you want. You want your evidence, right? But you want to grab their filter out of their vacuum and show them what's wrong with it. Grab their filter. Now, did we already have these filters out when we did the vac kill earlier? Mm -hmm. We did, right? Did you notice how stopped up they were? You know what you said to yourself? Well, when I get to that part, I'll come back to that. Grab your filter out of their machine. And just ask them. Aaron, how stopped up is your filter? It's pretty stopped up. How stopped up would you say? 90, 95, 100, what? No. 98.3. Okay. Jordan, what you just told me is if I quit, went to Walmart and bought all new filters, your machine would clean 98% better for 15 minutes. Then it would be right back like this. Guys, after 15 minutes, this is what happens to the filter in your bag. This is why your machine's leaving dirt in your home, and there's nothing you can do to fix it. Smells good, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Now, I'm going to tell you what I do next. 
some of you some guys. guys. We'd probably get something out of this. Even if the mini back there, even if your mini back is uh, you pretty well got it. This next part to me is pretty huge. Okay. You want to go to standard attachments? Mm -hmm. Grab your little attachment caddy. Right here. And just ask. I mean, do y'all show the attachments? Mm -hmm. Every time or sometimes? Every time. Okay. I can honestly say, I don't show the attachments every time. If I'm running out of time, if I've overstayed my welcome, you can tell, right? Mm -hmm. okay. They're starting to get that glazed look. I'll say, guys, this is for doing your cribs, this is for doing your furniture, this is for doing your desk. This rides right here with you on the front of the machine. Let me show you the, the power line. Let me show you the, let's go to the kitchen vacuum. Now, now I'm always going to vacuum the kitchen. I ain't ever going to skip that, right? But only if I feel like I've overstayed my welcome do I skip this, right? 99% of the time, I'm going to demo all these, right? But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the first piece I'm going to go to and say, guys, let me ask you a question. I ain't ever going to skip that, right? But only if I feel like I've overstayed my welcome do I skip this, right? 99% of the time I'm going to demo all these, right? But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the first piece I'm going to go to and say, guys, let me ask you a question. Do you have a piece like this with your vacuum cleaner that's used for vacuuming your couch? Of course, okay? Can I borrow the edge of that seat? If you don't mind. Yeah, slide her out. You ever been using it to vacuum your cushion, Brittany? You get here to vacuum and it sticks? How much cleaner are you doing if it sticks? Because it can't get any what? Airflow. Air okay, exactly. Which one cleans? Suction or airflow, Jordan? Right. They thought of everything with the rainbow, and they put this little boot on it. So guess what can get now, Aaron? Airflow. Airflow, which is what you need to clean, right? Let me you vacuum that cushion real quick for me. All right, I'll put a long black cloth right here on the end. And you always use your long black cloth when you show the attachments, right? Mm -hmm. Don't ever, 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 ever let the dirt go what? Yeah, yeah. Into the water. Don't let that dirt go in the water, guys. They can't see how much dirt you just picked up. You ever wore black? Mm -hmm. What are you doing all day? Mm -hmm. Golly, right? That's why we're using black cloths, because everything shows up, right? So we're going to take this and we're going to throw this right here on the end. And we're going to have her vacuum what? The couch, right? So go ahead and just vacuum. So I'm going to just put the cloth on. She's going to vacuum, right? We're going to get a bunch of stuff up. And I'm going to change the cloth. Now here's what I'm going to say. You normally get a bunch. We already vacuum that cushion, okay? When you take the cloth out, Brittany, you want to pop the cloth. Y'all ever do that? Mm -mm. It looks a lot worse if you'll pop it. This is what we got off the cushion earlier. Right pop the cloth. Okay. Now here's what you want to say. Jordan, y'all walk on y'all's furniture. Uh -huh. Brittany, a lot of people ask me how that dirt got up there on my furniture. You remember a while ago when we held a light on your dirt devil or on your vessel or on your Kirby? You saw all that stuff going out. What? Brittany, from the looks of this, where's it landed? Mm -hmm. It is. Listen to this commitment question, you ready? Don't get mad at me, but Brittany, before I got here, did you know that was in that cushion? Mm -hmm. Jordan, now that you know what's there, you wouldn't want to leave it there, would you? Now you're going to get it out, guys, with suction or airflow. Mm -hmm. Can you have airflow with a bag or a filter vacuum? Just for 15 minutes, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Airflow. Rest of the time, okay? Now I'm going to put that down there, and we're going to put a lot another long black cloth on, and she's going to vacuum a different. She's going to vacuum his recliner now, right? The idea here is to pull dirt, pull a bunch of dirt pads, okay? And she's going to vacuum his recliner, turn it off, and store the dirt. Again, you don't walk on your recliner, Bill. How about dirt get up there? Pull out of what? Pull out of your vacuum, there. okay? Put another black cloth on. Now, when we get done showing, and pull as many cloths. Aaron, as you can see, fit you know possible with that. Let's look around. Each house is different. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, some houses that you got five or six cloths you can pull with that. Some you can only got one or two because they got leather furniture and right. you know all this stuff. But pull. The main thing is pull a bunch of cloths. Put another black cloth on and go to the next attachment. Thank you. All right. Then we're gonna show you this piece. Jordan, let me ask you. Y'all have a piece like this with your vacuum? Right? Y'all do. Let me ask you. You use it to vacuum off dust, right, Brittany? Think about this. If you're over here vacuuming dust off your coffee table, what's blowing out dough in your vacuum? 
too. Kind of crazy. Okay, kind of makes you wonder why I even gave you a piece like this with your back here. Okay, but it's for dusting. Let you do some dusting. Tell you what, let's back in that lampshade. <coughs> We're gonna carry it up there. Let her back in the lampshade now, all right? Yeah. Put it off. I'm gonna ask her what question, guys. You walk on your lampshade. You don't walk on your lampshade, do you? Oh, well. Jordan, how that dirt get there on that, on that lampshade? Uh -uh. Blue out of what? <laughs> Bloody Kirby did you? Okay, who's condemning their Kirby? They are. You understand? This is a devastating demo if you do this right. But if you just go through the motion, guys, this is for doing your dust, and this is for, you know, you got that, you got to, you're close, you're, 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 you're committing, they're committing that their vacuum cleaner doesn't work over and over and over. They won't say when you get done, well, you know, the really the only difference is yours goes in the water, mine goes in the bag. I've actually had dealers, customers say that to me at the end of a demo because they're not doing a good job with this. I'm going to put another black cloth on and they're going to go vacuum the, the, the mini blinds. We'll turn them all one way. Back in one side, turn them all the other way, and back in the other side. Show them the dirt. You don't walk on your, your mini blinds, how the dirt get up there, blow out of white, right? And then we're going to vacuum what? Maybe the TV screen? Vacuum any horizontal surface. Horizontals, the, the, like that. Okay? A wall. You can vacuum a wall. How about, I'll tell you, a good one is a um, fireplace. Because fireplaces have, are made out of brick, mm -hmm. and the bricks jut out. Each level of the bricks, you just go on the top of each layer of the brick. And you, It'll be so, it's awful, right? But after you do that, you just say, uh, guys, let me ask you this. Do you have a piece like this with your vacuum pump? You ever been using it to vacuum and it stick? How much cleaner are you doing? None. They thought everything was rainbow again. They got that little cutout. It won't stick either way. Wouldn't you agree? Brittany, I've always said this. The company that makes these vacuum cleaners, they're in the business of making vacuums. Don't you think they ought to know something that simple? You think they know something that simple, don't you? Okay? Let me just vacuum your baseboard, all right? We're going to vacuum the baseboard here, all right? Now, when I say the baseboard, what I mean is, what well, do you know what baseboard is? Honestly, anybody do that? What? Baseboard. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Check this out. This off and it be one inch tall. Most people don't do it around the corner, I guess. It will be well, one, their vacuum cleaner can't get it. Yeah. It'll be that, that tall and you're piled up. That tall. It is awful. You explain to them there's not a vacuum cleaner on the market, including the rainbow. That edges. You have to take your time and go along the baseboard with this crevice tool, guys. Okay? But isn't that unbelievable right there? Again, you're showing them dirt. All right? And you got by this time, you should have 15 to 20 black cloths out of here. At least 12, 12, 15 ish, you know? Why are people going to buy rainbows? Because they see the dirt. Again, if you make somebody itch bad enough, they're going to do what? Scratch. They're going to scratch. Right, okay? So, okay, after we do that, now we're going to the what? Going to the kitchen? Mm -hmm. Right? When I get to the kitchen tool, the hard floor brush, I'm going to grab the hard floor brush and I'm going to ask them a question. You see here, and I know I've got an old hard floor brush here, but it's the fine, it's the same. The new ones have to cut out bristles too. Just ask and say, Brittany, I wonder why these things were cut out. Airflow. So we have airflow. Exactly, you'd be good at this. Okay. By this time, honestly, they ought to what? They ought to know. They ought to say airflow. Right. And if they don't, honestly, That's you're not doing a good job with I this. I don't right? know the class. Right. Okay. So we're going to take this, okay, and we're going to put it all here together. All right. What are we going to use down here at the rainbow? Now, you can put a long black cloth right here at the rainbow, but better than a long black cloth is the visualizer, all right? Take the visualizer. And so many people are saying, Jake, how does that visualizer thing work? I've never used that. What is that, all right? To use the visualizer, you take two square cloths. You have to use two of them for it to be thick enough. You lay it on top of this and this. That's the visualizer. Your visualizer is clearer than mine. I got the, mine's wore out. Somebody switched with me one day and I wasn't looking. Okay. But anyway, take this, put this in the rainbow, and this just goes right here. Now all the dirt's gonna go right there, right? Now when they're vacuuming, right, they're gonna be out. Now by the way, we're going to the kitchen. We're gonna put the rainbow on the wheels. And we're going to the kitchen. Okay, let's go back in the kitchen. <laughs> 
right? When's the last time you swept? Before you got here? Okay, great. I love it when they say we cleaned up before you got here. Mm -hmm. That's great. I, hope, I wish everybody do that. In fact, I think when people set the points on and say, listen, y'all be sure to vacuum good real good before I get there and sweep them up, okay? But while they're vacuuming, check this out, guys. Y'all ever use a visualizer? No? Okay. While they're vacuuming, look at the visualizer. Show them in the kitchen, take the sand, beat it down to the side, and then pour it on top. You will literally see Cheerios, bread, hair, much as a hair. You always see hair laying on the floor. That's amazing, isn't it? But see, if you use two, you can show them if you were using a broom. Look what a. You think you would have got that fine dust with a broom, Brittany? Yeah, you would. You'd be, you'd be, you'd be breathing it. You know, because when you use a broom, you're really stirring it up, right? There's an old saying with a broom, you sweep up what? Sweep up a storm? You ever heard that? Yeah. Okay. But what are you doing here? Again, you're pulling, you're pulling dirt. That tool right there, a lot of homes have all hardwood, right? You're going to put two more black cloths on the visualizer. Vacuum again. Just lay those two out. Put two more. Let her vacuum again. Pull a bunch of cloths when they don't have carpet with that tool right there. Okay. Now, the reason I continued this all the way through, even though this was the point of this part was the mini vac, was because, do you understand, the mini vac still goes on, really, mm -hmm. if you're talking about airflow, like you ought to. Okay, turn this on. Any questions?